the Thoughty or Tea podcast. What is addiction? What kind of behaviours occur around it? And also, what kind of happens to the brain in addiction? Because we know, we, I'm sure you show, sure, well, you're obviously you know, but it's, um, although it is a kind of psychological thing in some cases, there are sometimes those substance sort of interactions and different changes to the brain over time of, you know, being engaged in it and stuff. So it'd be really, really cool to, to hear your thoughts on it. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, if we're going to lay the foundation and the groundwork, we're going to, if we talk about addiction as a, I like to look at it from a biopsychosocial model, you know, some people would say it's behavioral. Some people would say and argue like, no, this is genetic. And I think there are components of, of all of those things. However, I, I do think there's a lot of uh, outside influences aside from genetics that influence whether or not you're susceptible to addiction and dependency. And sure. if we're going to define addiction, we're talking about not just substances like alcohol, opiates, uh, methamphetamine, marijuana, nicotine, etc. We're talking about processes too: gambling, sex, shopping, etc. Mm -hmm. And when we start to look at addiction, we're talking about both obsessions and compulsions. So obsessing over something over and over and over, and then the compulsive desire to do something, to take action on that obsession. And mm -hmm. we're talking about a, a process that completely changes your brain chemistry, the way that you interact with the world, the way that you take care of yourself, and completely shifts the way that you're kind of moving through, through your um, existence. And sure. this stuff is really, really damaging. Um, and oftentimes, unfortunately, life-threatening. And we, we, mm -hmm. we have such a large number of comorbidity, which means that there can be a, both a mental health diagnosis and an addiction that go hand in hand. And if we're sure. talking about autistic people, then we're talking about a higher prevalency for addiction and comorbidity because of all of the experiences that we have that negatively impact our mental health. And yeah, I can think of, of, of many, you know, you only have to give it a quick Google search to see all the, the horrible stats that are out there. It, it's, 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 it's unfortunate. And, but it also mm. makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. because addiction doesn't, and I always say this, I used to say this to my clients who would come to me for addiction support. You didn't, you weren't born addicted to heroin. You weren't born addicted mm. to alcohol things happen throughout your life where you started to lean on a substance or a process because it was comforting, because mm -hmm. it took away the pain, because it masked how you were feeling, because it made you feel more social. That's where addiction starts. And that's where dependency starts. So if we're going to define dependency, it is either the psychological or physiological dependency on a substance or a process. You're relying on something to help you navigate A, B, C, D, E. And then that dependency turns into a tolerance. So you may have used to been able to uh, drink a beer and get intoxicated. Over the course of uh, continued behavior, now it takes eight beers to get intoxicated. Yeah. And that, that ceiling keeps raising. That dependency and that tolerance keeps increasing. And then we reach the stage of addiction where it completely consumes and takes over your life. And it's now... Um, kind of dictating how you make your own choices and, and mm. how you plan your day, um, how you spend your time. You're often spending a majority of your day and time trying to obtain the substance or trying to figure out how to obtain the resource for the process to continue the behavior. And that's sure. when you get into that repetitive cyclical behavior where it almost feels like you're digging a hole and digging a hole and digging a hole that you cannot get out of.